Hey guys, it's me again, Hannah from Happy Boys. In today's tutorial, we will show you how to add products to blog post in your Shopify store without installing any application. Having a blog is good for SEOs, but that's not enough. Your blog should also create sales. So how to do that? The answer is show your readers the products you are writing about right in your blog post. What I will sh share with you today is having a blog post like this, look like this. This is my blog post, the title of the blog, and it is the product list as I talked about before. You can see the product image, name, and price here. If I click on this white chair, it will pop out into the product page of the white chair. Okay. There are two ways to do this task. The first way is using the product name, and the other way is using the product tag. Wow. We will we will go with the product name first, okay? To do this, first we will need to split our blog content into parts by placing a special tag into the content block. For the first way, we will work with the blog post news tree today. I want to have the product list right before the why do we use it here. So I will put this tag into this. Okay. Next, I will put the product names that I want to appear in the article. After this tag, let me show you how. Here is my product list. Let's see. I will choose the first three earrings here. Open them in the new tabs. I will copy their name. And paste into this. Then I copy this tab and paste. Copy. Paste. Paste, copy and paste. It's safe. Just remember that you need to type in the exact name of the product that you want to appear. Simple as that. Then, okay, now I will go to my online store, teams, actions, edit code. And we will work with this file article template.liquid. If you don't know how to find it, just type it into the search box here. Here it is in the sections directory. Okay, then I will file for this directory. Here, I will file for this. Then I will paste this. I will paste this code into it. 
replace it. So there are some nodes here. This line has a 100 number. It means you allow this code to filter 100 products in your store. My advice is type in the number of products your store has or just type 1000 for sure. Also, this slide has this tag, split content. Do you remember? Well, your tag doesn't need to be split content. You can name it whatever you want. Just make sure that it is the same with the tag you type in the blog editor in the Shopify admin dashboard in step one. Okay. And that's it. Now, this is the new story. I will refresh. I will refresh it to see the result. And here it is. There is a link. There is a list, product list. With product image, name, and price. That is the first way. Okay, now we will move on to the second way. Okay. Again, we will work on this file article template dot liquid. We will work with this file again. So I will save it to the original version for the second way. Okay. Don't worry that I have put all the codes in the comment sections so you can go there and get what you need. Okay. Hi. Now let's move on. Again, I will fight for this character. And now I will add, I will replace it with another code here. Copy. And replace. It's set. Now the next step, we will add the product tags. I will go back to my Shopify admin products. Then I will open three products that I want to add into my blog post. Let's choose C3. I will open them into three new tabs. Okay. I will go to my online store. Blog post. The last time we have worked with News 3, now this time we will work with News 2. Okay, and this is some, um, I will delete this one. Okay, again, I want to put the product list right before the white with OS. Use it. I will put the this tab in here. Split content. I will copy 
this is glasses okay this is a task section we will add the product handle into this let me show you how for this product i will scroll down into search engine list and preview edit website seo scroll down and copy this this is the handle of the product go back to this paste it here okay that's the first product i'll close this tab i will do the same with the other two products copy And the last product copy and test it's set view want I want to see the new change here it is here is a product list with image name and price that is that is for today okay so I'm done here well I hope that you guys don't find any difficulties in doing this but if you do just give us a like our team will help you and if you find this video helpful hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel happy boys for more tutorials on your Shopify store enjoy and see you in the next video Bye.